Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. So quick video regarding uh, Top Gun Maverick. Again, yes, I understand that certain people have built home theaters, right? To enjoy these movies at home. I get that. I understand that. But we have to look at it like in terms of majority of people, right? Majority of people don't have projectors and built-in home theaters because it can be very expensive and pricey and on top of that you gotta have a room to build a home theater right with a uh, proper projector screen etc etc right so releasing this movie on a streaming or digital at the same time with a home cinema theater release this is exactly what Tom Cruise was talking about you know not everyone will have that capabilities to have a projector to to have a room to have a projector with the big screen right majority of people are gonna be watching it on a 47 inch or 50 inch or 65 inch or a laptop or a cell phone or a tablet and he doesn't want people to experience that on that media format not to mention that you will have, you know, people trying to copy, you know, a movie, sell it as a bootleg, uh, put it out there on the Pirate Bay, uh, you know, and the movie's not going to make it, its money that it needs to make. So there's so many reasons why this is the right decision to put a Top Gun on a only theatrical release on the IMAX cinemas. And then, when it makes its money, they can release it like in late August or September. They can put it out there on the 4K UHD Blu-ray, IMAX Enhanced. Or after that, you know, in October, they can put it on Paramount Plus. And then you can enjoy it from there as well. Of course, I'm going to buy this movie on a 4K UHD Blu-ray. Absolutely, everyone will buy it on that format. So... So this is one of the reasons why I happen to agree with Tom and the decision that they made to uh, release this movie only on home, only on a cinema, not a home theater, but a cinema, movie theaters. So uh, for that reason, obviously, because you know it once they release this on a streaming the hackers gonna you know download this movie they're gonna put it out there in a pirate bay and then no one's gonna go to the to the theaters sure there will be some fans obviously they're gonna go to the theaters but majority of people are gonna be watching it from home and uh it's not gonna make the money that it needs to make to uh you know bring in that income that it needs because this was a very expensive movie obviously for many variety of reasons uh, and again before I end this video I understand that there's some of you who have a you know a space at home and you have a built-in home theater you got a 140 inch screen on your wall to enjoy this movie on a big screen but you got to remember, not everyone has that ability to enjoy Top Gun on a big screen at home. Because they don't have space, they don't have a projector, they don't have those speakers, surround sound, etc., etc. They don't have a Dolby Atmos receiver. Uh, there, there's so many reasons as to why you need to experience this in a uh, proper Dolby Cinema Theater. Because there's people out there on the AV forums who say, well, some of us have built home theaters, especially during a COVID-19. In past couple of years, some of us have projectors. I said, yeah, but listen to the words that you're using, some of us, not majority of us. So that's the problem, you know. Majority doesn't have projectors and built, you know, home theaters. 
uh, some of you have it. Not everybody has it, okay? Just like not everyone has a Tesla car. Some of you have Tesla car, not majority. So, you know, we have to think about this this stuff, you know. All right, so in case you guys are wondering uh, what projector am I using, I'm using a ViewSonic uh, PX701 uh, 4K projector, 4K HDR projector, which is a 120 inch, this is a 120 inch, uh, more than enough for the room that I'm in, obviously. And yes, movies look much better when you watch it in a projector versus a TV. Uh, TVs are small. I mean, look how small my uh, E8 is in comparison to uh, this is my E8, and look how small it is in comparison to 120 inch right here. So anyway, what are your thoughts on this? And I know this will be a split uh, debate because some people are going to say, well. We have home theaters. There's a lot of enthusiasts out there that have a projector. What about us? Yeah, but you guys are a small number in contrast to majority. Majority out there don't have projectors, okay? Majority out there has small TVs. And majority out there are going to be watching it on a tablet, on a phone, right? So they're not going to really truly experience the movie the way it was meant to be. All right, and this is why you should go pay for a ticket and see it and experience it the way it was meant to be experienced. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below.